What's up, buddy? It's Gomez, a comic collector with my top 50, top 50 comics up in my my PC, up in my collection. What I grab, what I grabbed over the past year, or whatever, the past, future, whatever I was going hunting for, whatever I gotta get, I'm gonna go get them. I'm gonna get that number 50. So this is 50 comics that I that I'm gonna show 50, 50 plus, maybe deck of cards, maybe I'll show 52. I don't know. I won't keep track. I'm just gonna go and just just show a bunch of shit. First off, I'm gonna show off is this bad boy right here, the killing, the Batman the killing joke. This is the first print. This is given by by my boy Joker M21. It was an it was a trade off, and the man had the first print in the PC. I don't have that. I just have a a, a regular, or was it a uh, hardcover of it? You know, I thought I was getting a deal until I started getting more knowledge about how collecting comics. But thank you, brothers. I appreciate them. Put this bad boy right here. Be the back little scene to get his, his, his arm. Uh, shout out to my boy Erod of uh, NY Warriors. He, 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 I just opened up a package today. And check out on my Instagram, but uh, I just posted it about a few hours ago. But he got me some uh, Venom 161. Luke, was it Lucha Perillo variant? Uh, Holy Grail HG baby, and then another Lucha Perillo issue number 50. Batman Lucha Perillo. I love the way Joker is. You know, he's just crazy. He looks just crazy. And then you get the Fantastic Four uh, with the, the Doomstone, the Doomstone on it, uh, the, the Clayton Crane, bad boy. So, uh, issue number one. So, I'm happy to get that bad boy. And this is a one, I think this is one of 50. Uh, uh, Mike Diodato Jr., a Wolverine, the hunt for Wolverine. I just really like how that, that, that the Wolverine looks on there. Just straight all muscled out, baby. All muscled out. And then you got the, you know, Venom, uh, was it Robert Rivera or something? Ruben Rivera, what the fuck? Something Rivera. I just know her name's Rivera on the name. But that, that's a sick ass cover. I just like it. I know it's everywhere for 10 to 12 bucks, but you know what to me? I'm just happy to have it in my PC. It's just, I think it's a sick ass cover. Sick ass, uh, uh, the way that he's standing. And it's almost like homage to the 300. And, then, and this one right here, this is the, this is the New Avengers. Uh, this is when, uh, Wolverine's uh, Venomized. And I'm happy that he, uh, when I get it in my collection, I, I'm happy to get it in my collection. Every time I see it for like under five bucks or so, I'll pick it up. I, I, won't, I won't fucking hesitate. So I'll, I have a few copies of this bad boy, but I'm happy to get that. Mom, I think I purchased one before through a YouTuber, and then um, I just kept finding them, and I kept purchasing them every time they were like for five bucks. Shit. This one right here, this is oh, uh, Fantastic Four number... Uh, 558. The reason why I like this one is because it's the first appearance of old, old man Logan, old Logan, old man, old man Logan, and then uh, you got this one here, uh, Batgirl issue number 13. This is a Joshua Middleton. This one I had a big old story about. I couldn't find this shit in the wild, and people they held the wrong one for me at a P at a uh, LCS, and I was a little, a little frustrated, a little, a little disappointed, and I, I am saying, you know what, cancel that motherfucking shit. Little by little by little, later, later by on, a couple months later, I just say, you know what, fucking, I don't want to pull this no more. They didn't even give me no 10% off or no free bags of boards, so I'm not going to hold anything unless it was, unless it was, unless it's a, a variant or something that I can't get. Maybe I will put it aside, but I, I was just like, you know what, cut, 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 cut me in the list. And then here's another one, uh, 68. The reason why I put this with meat grinder, you know, the reason why I put this one, this was the very first current, very first issue of 68 back when Image came out and um, did some like uh, back in the day how, how actually uh, like when the war happened, they were killed and zombified or whatever. They, so it's pretty cool story, pretty cool things. I have more trade paperbacks than issues on that one because I was just starting to pick up stuff, wanted to read. This one right here, Daredevil, uh, this is the annual number one. I did pay just cover because I used to work at the shop, but I just left the 799 and said forget it. But this is the Scotty Young variant. And this is the uh, X-23 Target X. The reason why I choose this one, one of my top 50s, is because I like the way the art is, the color, the, everything, and all the, uh, like, she's looking in the mirror, and the outfit, and you got that. So I just like, I just like the way it looks. It presents itself. Then this one is a uh, 1 in 20. The Jerkovic, the Jerkovic. Uh, Hulk number 2 variant. Uh, this is one is, uh, I just like the reds and all the shit, you know. I'm, and the way he comes out and the saliva up in that mother sucker. Look at that saliva in that motherfucking teeth. Oh, god damn. But I, I just like the way this is, is. This is probably like a 9.2, 9.4. Uh, there's a little bit of little creases, but for, we got it for like 5, 10 bucks shit. And this one, I just purchased this one. Shout out to Cat Ram Figures. You watching this mother sucker. 
You know, he suckered me into getting this one in twenty five Frank Cho extermination number number two with Gene Gray in the front cover. This one is a one in fifty Tyler Kirkham. I love the way Colossus Colossus looks. Issue number thirty, the X Men Gold. I just I, I I wanted this one and I was just I saw it at LCS's for like 50, 40, 60 bucks. I just waited till I it was at a reasonable price. I think I got under 20 around that range. I, I just waited patiently. I, I really enjoyed this one. And this one I just got from a blind box. Uh, somebody was having to purchase it. You know, you purchase anything, they'll send you some stuff. Yeah, I guess this one's a hard to find. This is a, um, this is a, I think this is an Art Adams. Yeah, this is an Art Adams, uh, a hard to find uh, Wolverine. I just like the way it's classic Wolverine, the side, sideways. That's a dope ass one. I think I'm gonna get this one slab, maybe signed. Maybe if I sign that shit right here, or even sign that shit like in the sideways, I don't know. But I want to get this one slab in the future. We'll see how things go. This is a, uh, this is a one in twenty five. I actually, I actually got this one for like eighteen, excuse me, eighteen bucks. First host. I, I, I was happy to get that one because I just really like how Venom looks in that one. I, I'm really enjoying Venom this, 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 this end of this year. You know, Thanos, Venom. Wolverine, it's just, you know, Cable, I was trying to catch up, just talking about Cable, this is the, this is the one in, I think one in 25, uh, one in 55, Ryan Stigman variant, I just really like, I just really enjoy, just like, how it looks in general, Cable side, the side view, the good side, you know, probably the bad side, the other side's probably the shitty side, but this is the good side of him, I guess, but with this, with this, uh, with this big ass motherfucking shoddy, and then this one I just purchased, I think this is the one in 50, uh, the uh, great, I just love Greg Capullo's art. You know, I, you can't go wrong with Greg Capullo's art. So this one is, uh, the one in 50, the, the blank sketch of Justin Lee Dark. I'm a sucker for Justin Lee Dark and, and a bunch of, uh, um, what's it called, like, zombie type shit. And this one is, uh, Nick, Nick Bradshaw. This is actually the Mexico variant. This is the actual Mexico variant. So I think it's the one in 25, but this is the Mexico variant, so it's pretty sick. Because a lot of these, I, I was checking it out, and this one is uh, different than the other ones. And this one is uh, JR, JR, uh, Dark Knight Master Race Book 3. This is uh, a Mexico variant as well. A shout out to my uh, in laws. They, when, uh, when they went to Mexico, they got me two of these. And I think it's pretty dope. I, I think it's just, it's just you're not going to see these out, you know, out, out where we are in, uh, in the United States of America. Let's see, um, let's see what else I got in this bag. Oh, this one here, this is a Clayton Crane. I think this is a 1 in 25 or 1 in 15, 287 Deadpool. It's just, um, it's just, it's just pretty sick how it, how it comes out. You can see my shit a little bit, huh? But you know what? I, I've always wanted this when, the first, when I first heard it, but this was going for an outrageous price when it first comes out. You know, you got sometimes with, with a variance or, or, or keys, you kind of have to wait till it dies down the right time to purchase it. This is a, I don't know, I think this is just a, this is just a, a exclusive, classic, just married. Uh, this is a, a homage to when, uh, when uh, Spider-Man got married to uh, Mary Jane. I think it was issue like 25 or something like that. Uh, uh, I don't remember what issue of, of Spider-Man is. I, I don't really collect Spider-Man that much. But this one is, uh, uh, I really like this story, plastic, it was through image. And then this right here is a blow-up doll. You know, what can I say about that guy named Edwin, who was the main character, and these guys are like, kind of like, like people in the store in the background, but that story with blow up dolls, I'm like, yes, and this was Amazing Spider-Man number four, I believe, the, um, this is the first appearance of Silk, which is pretty cool to have in the PC, I, I got this one actually for like 12 bucks, 13, I was happy to get that one before it blew up, and I got this one off an auction, this is the, uh, Venom Lethal Protector in issue number one. This one I like because I, I have the original with the with the Spider-Man on it, but I'm glad to have that one for uh that has a barcode. And I, I really like this right here. This is just League number two. This is the Alex Ross. Um there uh, well, I don't think it's a well yeah, it could be a, a variant. I think it is a variant, but might be oh, actually you no know, take it back. This this is just a the second print of Alex Ross. Uh that's just sick ass second print. And then this is a virgin uh Lesnar. This is Betty Page issue number eight. Really enjoying that uh that pose right there with the ass out. And then this is another one here to show some ladies. And this is Vicky. This is the zombie trap. Jenny Bell. Uh, really enjoying that one. Here's another uh, Venom issue number three. The first uh, first appearance of uh, Noel. 
This is 125. I think this is a, a Manolo variant. Manolo or a Monora, Monera variant, I believe. Monera. And this one is a. This is a annual number four, the Art Germ cover. This one is a is a first appearance of Batman Beyond. So I'm glad to have that in a piece. Hey, let me see. Hold on, let me move some of this shit. And you got uh, Mighty Thor 337, the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. That one's a pretty good one to have a PC with the bar Cody. It's a little dirty. It's okay. But this one is uh, Batgirl issue number uh, 23. That's, uh, well, I guess that was a low print. Everywhere. But everybody's scrambling for it. Tons of stories. Mostly negative stories of trying to get it and how LCS is overcharged that garbage. Then you got this one right here. This is the uh, Jenny Freeze on Resurrection. Just love that artwork. You know, like I said, this one's a, I think it's very underrated uh, Phoenix Resurrection cover. Apocalypse, uh, like I said, I'm a sucker for uh, Halloween-y. Halloween's around the corner. This is issue number 23. Uh, Steve Apocalypse. And then I got this one right here. This one's a uh, Spawn 250. The, 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 the Craig Capullo. Happy to have that. And then this one right here. So this one is uh, Man Without Fear, Daredevils. Signed by Frank Miller himself. This is uh, with the COA. <laughs> Idolize our Adams, baby. You know, that's a sick ass cover. I really enjoy it. I always wanted a PC. And this is uh, issue number 40. Shout out to uh, Key Commons Former Club XXX. Uh, this is uh, just league number 40, the first parents of Grail. Uh, the one in 25 or the one in, I think it was the 125 is what I want to get, but I'll get that in the future. I'm not really worried about that shit. Wolverine Savage, uh, J. Scott Campbell, one shot. This was so, and then we got this one right here. Uh, Space Vixens. This is uh, some uh, Dave Stevens. I did one that off an uh, auction as well. And this is the uh, Wolverine uh, Weapon X, the Adam Q, the Adam Cuber 101, 101 uh, sketch variant. And then uh, Redneck, uh, Redneck, the, the Star exclusive variants, the, 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 the silver and the, the gold. And then this is the first appearance of, uh, what was it, uh, Prince Hellboy in color, next man from the four, from the three or four, I mean, and then this one is a uh, Annie Kubert. This is a signed by Annie Kubert as well. I got these for a real good price. But and then um, I'm gonna shout out to my bro, my bro his birthday was yesterday. This is uh the old man, old Blizzard Beast, his own creation he does. But this is uh, the the Wolverine one. And then shout out to uh, Eddie the comic book guy, X-Men Red. I uh, told him if he could do an X-23. He did his own version, his own drawing of it. So, you know, this is sick. I think this is a pretty sick-ass one. And then um, I got this right here. This is New Mutants 98, the first appearance of, De of Deadpool. And then um, I just recently got this one, the, uh, you know, big up to when I reached, did a Brian box got purchased. But this is a Harley Quinn issue number three, the one in 25, steampunk variant. I'm happy to have that. And, uh, yeah, um, I just had to come back. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of slabs that I have in my PC. This one right here, this is, uh, this one was actually given to you by Tulu Comics. It's 9.8, signed by the artist of the new Superman. He did a Superman sign. Um, so I'm happy to have this. My PC was given to me. Um, here's another one that I. I think it's signed, but this one I, I, I recently purchased over the year. This is a, a 9.8, the 1 in 50, uh, Stephanie Hans variant, X Men Blue issue number 20, 21. And then um, I'm going to show you a couple, couple uh, signed 1 in 20s. This is, uh, this is signed by Joe Benitez. 9.2, I had little scuffles over here, but. It is what it is, you know, you, you do through the experience and you collect. Here's another one, uh, Joe, signed by Joe Benitez. 
is a one in 25, I think one in 20, uh, the virgin variant of uh, Red Sandra. So this is a 9.6. Number 700. Madam Hughes. Well, I think this one's one of the sickest ones. Hella. This is a hella, hella sick ass variant. 9.8, baby. But, you know, that's, uh, that's part of my collection for Top 50. I probably did a little bit more than 50, but it's alright. I'll just, just like to show some of my shit that I got in the collection over the years. Appreciate you guys watching. This is Gomez the Comic Collector. Not. Try to keep this under 15 to 20. Everybody, Broski, y'all already know me. Top 50. If you're watching this, do this shit. Now. Peace.